Yeah, welcome to another Java EE tutorial. Today I show you how to use JSF validation to validate data fields in a form. In this tutorial we will only talk about built-in validations. If you are interested in custom bean validation you should check out the next tutorial which is coming soon. And now we will jump right to an example. But first, what is JSF validation? JSF validation allows us to define scopes for our fields where we can define, for example, it's required, its max value is 100. And JSF allows us to do so those simple validations per default, just defining some tags and it validates those things for us. So we will start. We create form. In this form we need an output label. First will be a string. Just copy this. Last one will be a double and we also take an int here. So we create an input text which needs an ID. This is important. You will soon see where we will need this ID. So this is a string and to attach this to a value we need to create a bean and I call this data bean oh. and this will be a managed bean at view scoped. So here we will create a string called input string an int called input int and a double called input double. All those need getter and setter. And this will be our bean. We jump back to our page and can now attach this to our data bean input string and we can copy this for the next two where we have to change our IDs and our bean variables to int and double. So now we don't have too much it's only those three text fields to give this a better feeling I will add a panel grid to this and now this looks a bit, a bit better. We have our string, our int and our double. We need a submit button which will be a command button with the value submit. And now I can click submit and the page the f would reload, the form would be submitted, but there is no actual validation right now. To, to use the inbuilt validation, we can choose between two types. The first one I will show you is the annotation validation. You can just add a not null annotation from the Java X validation constraints package, which basically checks if something was entered as in the string, otherwise this validation would not be true. And here we can define a message. This message is what will be printed out if the validation fails. And we just write bad string here. So for our integer, we will write the act max annotation from the same package. And here we go defining a value which is our maximum value so we say 100 and define a message which is bad int. So now if this integer value would be above 100 the validation would fail. For our double we will use the add min annotation with the value of 10 and the message bad double. So now our fields will be validated. We can check this. 
but we will see also those fields are not correctly submitted this is why we need to define a place where our messages will be given out and this is the h message tag and here is the point where we need our IDs we need our string here and I will copy this three times because we will have three error messages so now I go back to our site and submit those things and we see oh there's a bad double because the double is lower than the minimum of 10 if I do this it worked great but what you see the string is null and still there's no validation message th uh, shown why is this because if we submit an empty string the string is not null it's empty and therefore we need to change our web xml file and we need to add a context parameter with the parent name javax.faces.interpret empty string submitted value as null and the parent value is true. This will lead if we submit an empty string it's submitted as null, not as an empty string. So we go back to our application, read out the site, submit it, and we get the message bad string. As you see here, if I would add 1000 here, we get all messages at once, so every field was validated correctly. So this is how the annotation validation works, and now we will use the core JSF validation so I remove those not annotations here go back to our index.xhtml and here we already have to find our namespace f for jsf core and from this we will use the f validation and here we can choose between different ones we can define a length we can define a required tag which we will use for our string then we need to define our message which is the require message for the required tag you could also add a required true to the input text directly which would be exactly the same so we go to our integer and add an f validate long range well, we add the minimum of 10 and we go to our double and add the f validate double range to a maximum of 100. So this will be exactly the same as we did with the annotations and we will check this, go to our page, submit this and we see our bad string and here we see a uh, kind of strange long message error. This is because we haven't defined a validation message which is bad int and down here again a validation message which is bad double. And now we try again. Submit and we see bad string bad int. If I add the double to 1000 or 10,000 we see all three messages with the JSF core validation. So this is how the built-in validation works and you see those the validation types are kind of limited so you can't check anything with it. So there's another possibility for custom validation where you can exactly define and write your own validator which is really useful and I will show you this in the next tutorial. So I hope you understand it and if you have any questions write a comment and I hope I see you soon.